The cardiovascular system is truly amazing. We may not often think about it, but our hearts are beating constantly, delivering oxygen and nutrients throughout our bodies. Blood exits the heart through our largest blood vessel, the aorta. In healthy individuals, the aorta is elastic. When the heart beats, it ejects vast amounts of blood at enormously high pressure, and similar to a rubber band, the aorta stretches to contain this sudden rush of energy and then relaxes, evenly distributing blood throughout our body. In a condition called supervalvular aortic stenosis, or SVAS, affecting 1 in every 10,000 people, the situation is not so simple. In SVAS, this elasticity is missing. There is no working rubber band. Instead, to deal with these enormous pressure changes from the heart, the smooth muscle cells of the aorta grow uncontrollably, thinking if we make the wall thicker, it will be strong and won't crack. Unfortunately, this causes the aorta to become narrower, ultimately making it harder for the heart to deliver enough nutrition to the body. Eventually, this stressful process causes the heart to shut down, and sadly, there is currently no cure for this condition. In my research, I study the differences between cells that make up a healthy aorta from those of a person with SVAS. Now, I can't easily obtain cells directly from an aorta, as this would essentially require open-heart surgery. However, using a technique called induced pluripotency, I can instead take a small sample of skin cells and transform them into stem cells, which can then be directed to become any type of cell in the body. Imagine a stem cell is like a seed of untapped potential, and depending on how you cultivate its growth and when and which nutrients you provide, it could become something as hardy as a beet or something as beautiful as an orchid. That might sound crazy, but here's how it's done. Simply by adding a series of factors that are highly abundant in developing embryos, I can convert those skin cells to a stem cell-like state. I can then cultivate these stem cells with specific nutrients to transform them into smooth muscle cells that have the same DNA and characteristics as those taken directly from an aorta. No open heart surgery required. Using the stem cell model, I've been able to effectively study and directly test therapies on SVAS smooth muscle cells. In SVAS cells, the machinery that helps cells sense stress doesn't work properly, causing them to miss cues from the heart and grow inappropriately. I have discovered a compound that gives SVAS cells the blueprints to synthesize new rubber band-like structures that can restore that stress sensing capability. I have shown that SVAS cells treated with this drug begin to behave similarly to healthy cells, and I'm hopeful that my rescue experiments will help treat patients with this condition in the not too distant future. And as stem cells can become any type of cell, I can use them to study a multitude of diseases, including cancer and even COVID-19 and directly test therapies on any organ system, in any individual, including you and including me.